Hello, and welcome to another art adventure. When I'm unenthused, I find a muse. So, my handle might be a little confusing, or maybe you're wondering, why so unenthused? Well, that's not quite what I mean. I don't like to waste a lot of time. If I can, I always like to be learning something or making things. So while I was house sitting, I was bored. And I found myself feeling unenthused because I had nothing to do. Well, I can always solve that because I'm of the mindset that only boring people get bored. Or maybe it's that overly creative people (laughs) have a built-in defense against getting bored. I can always think of all kinds of fun projects in my head. And if I can, I like to find materials. So, um, actually... What happened here, uh, this was originally planned to be a piece for a friend, and I was going to do it in a black ink wash on a white background, you know, um, pretty standard, but what I happened to find while I was house-sitting was a black matte board and some Valspar matte paint, um... (laughs) And I am surprised to admit that I actually had a lot of fun painting with, uh, like, wall paint. I wasn't sure what it was going to be like, but it was really, it was really viscous, and so it blended really well. Um, I, I think you can definitely see where I'm playing around with that. But, uh, yes. So, um... This was quite a surprise, and I haven't done a lot of inverted drawings like this, so um, I honestly had no idea what I was doing. Every minute, every brush stroke, I was like, oh man, and plotting out what I was going to do next. So um, this is actually my first YouTube video, as well as one of the first times I've been able to record and see myself um, create a traditional piece. So this was really fun, and I hope you guys like it anywhere near as much as I do. I would love to make and record more videos. (laughs) Maybe I can get things uh, a little more organized. It was great. I always love improvising. I didn't have a camera stand, um, obviously by the awful angle of my recording. Um, I had a vice clamp clamped to the arm of an office chair, and then it was holding my guitar stand neck, um, which I then taped my cell phone to so I could get an angle. Um, It was really interesting to try to get the camera out of my way, but also still getting a good view of what's going on. Um, so yeah, this is more or less, I had a rough, uh, sketch with some light pencil lines and I was going over them with the paint. Um, Oh my gosh, I got so nervous over this last one. Like, you can see me trying to plan it out before I- and I backed off. I was like, oh no, I don't know if I- uh, And that's okay too, to like, not be sure how you want something to look and to just take a step back and come over to it when you've had a minute. Um, oh my gosh, I absolutely adore these hands.
so I love watching these hands come to be like I had very little plan. They were mostly uh, general shapes. And so sitting here and trying to make them look like actual forms was really interesting. Um, oh, I just love this entire piece so much. He's, I love this piece as much as he loves that coffee he's waiting to see brew. <laughs> I also feel like this is a good example of how you don't always have to have the best or the greatest art supplies to make really cool things. Um, I managed to get this map board in high school because they were just going to recycle them. They were too small for framing anything. Um, and so I asked if I could keep some. And I've used a few for paintings here and there through the years, which is why when I needed something to paint on, I went and checked out my magical stash of things that I can paint on. <laughs> and I actually found one of the biggest ones I had in the best shape was this, um, this one here. So I was like super excited. All I needed was some paint and then I happened to find the Valspar paint hanging out and that was purchased for um, like a home improvement type thing and uh, it was just extra laying around not doing anything so I decided to make some art with it. <laughs> and that's honest- oh and that's honestly where my camera cut out. Um, I was recording on my phone and I did not have uh, enough memory. So um, I got most of the process on film, but I did end up missing the latter end. Oh, and there I go moving things. Can you tell I'm a rookie? <laughs> It's okay, I'll get better, I promise. Um, having an actual setup to record traditional work would be miles upon miles of help, so I'm not um, doing silly things like that or I'm shifting things off frame. Um, but from where I was, I had no reference for where it needed to be in frame, and I actually couldn't see uh, my camera screen, so I'm... I'm sorry, and my apologies for my work being off to the side a little bit here, but I'm pretty sure it's still worth it. Alright, so how did it turn out? All in all, I'm super happy with this. It just makes me uh, so happy. I can't believe I made this. Well, thank you so much for watching. This was my very first YouTube video. Um, if you liked my painting and want to see more of my work, you can follow me over on Twitter at unenthusedm or catch me over on Instagram or even live streaming on Twitch as unenthusedmuse. Catch you later. <laughs>